Hey, what's going on guys? It's uh, kind of a later vlog today, but I'm gonna go to the gym right now and I'm going to answer some questions that people on you now the other night wanted me to answer. I got kind of a, I got kind of a lot I need to answer. Um, so you guys can get to know me a little better and I know a lot of people are wondering a lot of stuff that I haven't really been able to talk about. We'll answer those questions for you guys. Guess what guys, guess who's not doing legs today? Me, because uh, I skip leg day. You know, I don't ever do legs and you know, they're just tiny. I know I'm top heavy, my calves don't grow. I'm just screwed. Once again, skipping leg day, not doing legs. Some of you are curious to know more about me and have been asking a ton of questions um, that one either I don't answer because they're I don't feel comfortable answering them or two I just don't really have haven't really had the time to answer them uh, my buddy here is going to read off the questions while I drive and I will answer them for you okay uh, question one how do you feel about having two kids uh, it's very nervous like very very nervous um, but excited at the same time because uh, a lot of people they either get stuck with a bunch of little girls or a bunch of little boys and I get a daughter and a son and I think that's pretty awesome. What are your long-term goals for the future? Long-term goals? Whew. Um, I want to be very successful in the profession that I'm pursuing. And uh, does your job in the military depend on where you're stationed or do you already know what you're going to be doing like right now? Um, well, I still have a good year of training and once I complete the training, you're stationed um, in two to three different places. Uh, it's either in California or Virginia and then maybe Hawaii. Uh, just depends. It just really depends. But you already know what you're going to be doing as far as once you're actually in it pretty much. Um, yeah, you have a pretty good idea, but there's specific jobs you do within that job. So, um, it, it well, it all just depends. Like time will tell. I'll know more uh, in a year from now. Um, what was your biggest worry when you joined the Navy? Honestly, my biggest worry, it just family. I didn't, uh, I didn't want Lacey growing up and not knowing who I was. I was so scared. Like the two months I was gone for boot camp, you know, you don't talk to your family at all. You have no communication. You have no. FaceTime, internet, or anything like that. I was just worried that I was gonna graduate boot camp and my daughter wouldn't remember me because I just, I didn't know how her memory would be at her age. But she was extremely excited to see me. She knew exactly who I was and she was talking so much more than she'd ever talked before. What were your first thoughts when Lacey was born? Uh, I cried. I cried like a little baby, like, I cried more than she cried when she was born. Um, honestly, my first thoughts was just like, wow, life is never gonna be the same. Um, I just told myself that I was gonna do everything I possibly could to give her the best life possible. And uh, same question, but about uh, your wife or your first thoughts when you met her? My first thoughts when I met her? Uh, do you want the appropriate thoughts or the, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My first thought when I first met her, I was like, man, this girl is beautiful. Like. And then I, I thought she had a really big butt, and I was like, man, she's got a big butt. <laughs> and then uh, I approached her. Pause. I approached him, actually.
and we just kind of clicked from there. What are your thoughts now when you ever you see her? Like, how has that changed since uh, when you first met her to now after going through so much? It's different now because it's like, you're very comfortable with each other. You're kind of out of that honeymoon stage. And I feel like every relationship goes through that honeymoon stage where you go from being so madly in love and always wanting to be together and being cheesy and, you know, everything you imagine a perfect couple would be to being a normal ass couple that love each other but um it's not as you know the exciting like that spark isn't always there all the time it's more of a it's more of a grown love like a more of an adult love where it's like you know i love her for the mother she is and you know the wife she is it's not the exciting let's go do spontaneous things and spend a bunch of money and um you know i just I, she's a, an amazing mother an amazing wife and um just a great genuine person and uh you know the the longer you're with somebody and the more the more you grow together the more adult like things that you respect about each other instead of the little things what? in other words we're we're more we are more mature and we appreciate more mature things about each other than we did when we were younger. What are you doing now with Danielle as far as being ready for uh, your another baby compared to when you were getting ready to have Lacey? Honestly, we haven't done much. <laughs> we haven't done anything. And I've heard this with many people. Your first baby, you're so, you're freaking out. You're so anxious. You're doing all these things. And then the second child's like, bring it on like we've done this before whatever I'm not really worried about anything we haven't really done anything to prepare anything at all um, so nothing really when is your son due uh, he is due August 22nd how long do you plan on staying in the military um ideally I, I think a minimum of 12 years um, but it all depends I mean it depends on your family life depends on your health you could die like there's a lot of different variables um, that comes into play uh, that can determine that so uh, it just it just all kind of depends uh, I think a minimum of 12 because Lacey would be like 14 15 and I think I mean all all ages are important in a child's life of course but I think that specific age is it's really important for a child to have a father figure and I don't I don't know it, it'll just depend I could get a short duty and be home all the time I just I'll, we'll, we'll have to see but I mean 20 years would be awesome I'd be 39 and be retired drawing a pension like that'd be sick but it just all depends so play it by ear where would you live if you could live anywhere? If I could live anywhere, I would live in Kansas City, Missouri. I wouldn't live anywhere else. I love Kansas City, Missouri. People have no idea how awesome this city really is. That was some of the questions that we were asked on you now and frequently asked questions that are commented on Daniel's videos. So I hope I was able to answer those for you and some of you got to know me a little better. But we're about to uh, pick up Lacey right now and we don't really know what we're gonna do. Um, we wanna go paintballing, but that's kinda hard with a little three-year-old. So we're gonna figure something out. I'm trying to give Danielle some space today cause she hasn't been feeling well and um, you know, you guys will see her at the end of the vlog. She's going to vlog a little bit, but, um, yeah, so it's a fun day. All right, go ahead, sing. We love your voice. You're so good at singing. My only sunshine, my only sunshine, you my only sunshine. Oh, 
you messed up, didn't you? Yeah. All right, start over. I messed up again. You messed up again? Yeah. You goofy goober. Lacey, look, it's a horsey. horsey. Look. <gasps> horsey. Horsies. Um, Don't you love horses? Yeah, I love horses. What about ponies? Mm, I love ponies. What about unicorns? I love unicorns. Daddy loves unicorns, too. Um, Lacey, we're gonna go swimming. swimming. Yeah. <laughs> that woke you up, didn't it? Oh. Yeah. Can I clean my goggles? Yes. Yeah, it's home. Yes. Oh. Are you excited? Yeah. Yay! Mommy doesn't have a pool for that flight. Right. <laughs> All right, Lay. What are we about to do? Go swimming. Yeah, go swimming. As you can see, I dress her. Yeah, I, I know I don't match my child. I don't. I'm a typical father, so I'm about to swim and have some fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are we about to do, Lay? Hey, look. Hey, what are you about to do? Uh, swim. Yeah. All right, let's go swim. Come on. guys enjoyed the vlog I personally think it probably really sucked um, but that's why Danielle's really good at what she does and you guys enjoy her vlogs not my vlogs because I can't vlog I'm going to give Danielle the camera and her SD card now uh, she's actually sleeping so um, I kind of want to do something really funny actually it's going down all right she's gonna be so mad all right tune in all right so you guys are probably going to think I'm a huge asshole and I probably am she told me I'm not funny enough in the vlogs this is gonna be good guys so what I have here is a bottle of water good old Danielle is uh, sleeping so I almost fell down the stairs she's sleeping she has no idea I'm coming by and what's about to happen next it's gonna be really Tell me, you want to? No, stop! Me to be stop! I was fucking sleeping, dude. What? That's not. No, good. go. <laughs> All 
All right, that was probably that was probably a really bad idea. Look, I feel really bad now. I don't think she had that in mind when she said be funny. So prank gone wrong.